Crikey. Hello. Yes, Mr. Weaver. Wayne Whitman here from Ministry of Health. Very sorry, sorry, I lost you there. Yes, um, now I'm just looking at your documentation from uh, your flight and your intentions in Australia. It says you were in Queensland, is that right? That's right, yeah. And what part of Queensland were you in for your uh, duration of your travel? Well, we were all over the place really, but um, a fair bit of it, we, we based ourselves, we started off on the Gold Coast. We went, we went north, north, northwest Queensland, which is um, in the Isaac Desert region. So just looking at the dates that you were there for, now there was some form of lockdown in Queensland during that period, is that right? That's right, yeah, down on the Gold Coast and um, down on the Gold Coast and Brisbane, I think, was locked down. I think um, up as far as about Gympie. And so were you you were in that lockdown during that period? Is that is that correct? Only really right at the very um, beginning of it. And then um, we were we were moving we were moving through. We had nowhere to stay there, so we um, I actually asked the policeman if we could move on and they said, Yeah, go for your life yeah, as long as you don't come back. You do, know, do, we were... do you have that policeman's details? Oh, no, we're just on the wrong side of the road. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine, Mr. Weaver. We were, like, we were like probably a twelve-hour drive north of Gympie. And, and have you been adhering to the lockdown rules in New Zealand uh, in the last ten days? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I've been working. You, you've been working. Yeah. And yeah. what, what have I'm you been? A, uh, I work for a trucking company, and I'm a, um, like, uh, what do you call it, essential workers. Have you declared to them that you were in Australia during lockdown? Okay, no, that's fine. Um, yeah, no, it's all right. We're, we're, you know, we're pretty careful. Yeah, and have you been, as, like, as far as your home life, have you been doing the essential, cert, like, grocery shopping, been in other areas with uh, other people, uh, or have you been just between work and home? Pretty much between work and home. I've done, I don't go to the grocery shops. I've just stopped at the four square a couple of times on the way home. And the name of that four um, square, sir? No, that's that's fine. Now, just just so you're aware, there is obviously uh, eleven fifty nine pm Tuesday. Uh, the South Island will be going to level three. Now, there is a possibility that any recent returnees from Australia will remain in level four for another couple of weeks, as Auckland has. Are you okay with that, sir? Uh, well, I'm an essential worker, so. Um... Yes, there might be some impact with that. Well, would you be willing to have another test if, if it was arranged? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I'm not going to pay for this one. I had to pay for one in Australia. So. No, no. There'd be no cost to you, sir. And how many in oh, your, yeah, no, how I, many in your household? Test, yeah. How many How many in your household, sir? Just two. Just the two? Okay. All right, so, well, um, thank you for your cooperation. We will be in touch in the near future, and there is a, a strong possibility that uh, the Level 4 may extend for you as a recent returnee from Australia, and especially in regards to the uh, Queensland lockdown. Uh, and, if, I test, at, if I have a test and I'm clear, then, then it won't extend to me, will it? Because well, well, we'll have to work through that, sir. We'll have to work through that. Anyway, has this? So where well, yeah, from? there's very much, uh, there's a lot of close contacts, sir, all around the South Island, and, and you know, we're still, we're still waiting to see the peak of this uh, outbreak. The Delta variant is very, very uh, spreadable, uh, and it's a lot higher risk than the original lockdown. Yeah, yeah, not, not many people. Has anyone died of this last one? 
Well, so, uh, uh, you know, there's plenty of research out there that show it's very, very serious uh, illness that can come from this. Uh, yeah. You know, but hey, look, like let's, I, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. I'm just, I'm just wondering where, you know, they, they battle with data, but no one really comes up with... See, see, once again, I've just asked you if anybody's died from it, and you still haven't answered me. You know what I mean? Like, the, the health people are just not really good at answering questions when we ask them, are they? Well, look, sir, I, I appreciate that you've been very good at answering my questions today, and, you know, I'm just doing my job uh, following up with recent returnees. But if you if you could just stay by the phone and uh, between now and Tuesday, someone will be in touch regarding your uh, next COVID test and op- options for your essential work to continue. Yeah, yeah. I, I, um, you know, like I couldn't see any reason why it couldn't when, um, you know, you know, when I was asked about it, I didn't really know what to say. And I'm just wondering Why, why wouldn't I be able to carry on going to work? Well, that would be up to the health official, sir. The, yeah. The medical experts. Who, 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 who would I be talking to there? Well, there's will be a range of them. Uh, you know, there's 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 uh, there's 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 not with Delta, sir. We're like in the, we're six weeks home, and um. Have you been wearing a mask in your essential work, sir? Yeah, well, only when, only if I'm around people. I've worked by myself quite a bit. And so you don't come into anyone into contact with anyone during your work day? Oh well, I do. I do. It's a trucking company, but I mean everybody's very careful. And oh, that's very good, sir. They're right, you know. Okay, well, we'll we'll be in touch, sir. Well, it's, it's, you know, it's a global pandemic, sir. So it's, it's unprecedented times, uh, and we're just doing the best we can, and we really appreciate your help. Uh, yeah, well, like, you know, I'll do everything right, but um, I, I just can't see, and that's why I keep on asking the question, why wouldn't I be able to go to work? Well, hopefully you can, sir. If, uh, if, I, ne- if I have it, I can understand it if I had a positive test, but if I have a negative test, which I will... Um, I think the I, I think the main concern. Why I couldn't carry on going to work. I mean, what are they going to do? Just stop the country working if somebody? Well, in I think Australia? I think the main concern is that we don't know where this. Been to this... Australia in the last six weeks can't go to work. Well, it's been confirmed that this outbreak has come from Australia, and we haven't confirmed the exact line of that trace. So that that's the that's the major concern for us at the moment, sir. They said on the radio this morning they're pretty um, pretty sure that it's that they found the the one case that did come in from New South Wales. Unfortunately, the radio presenters are not medical experts, sir. No, no, that was on the news. You know, like saying from the medical, um, from the um, Ministry of Health. Well, we advise everyone to get the information from the COVID19.gov.nz website. That's the okay. most up-to-date. Oh, you're right. Yeah, well, no, I'll have a look at it. Because I do follow it a bit, but, um, yeah, yeah, no, it's quite obvious. All right. Sorry, Mr. Weaver, I'm going to have to ca- uh, carry on, but please, uh, well, we'll be in touch between Tuesday. New questions yet. <laughs> have you got... Uh, well, yes, continue. So, but, well, what it may, my main question is, what's the criteria behind this? If, if, if I've been to Australia, are you telling me that if I've been to Australia, and even though if I, get a, if I go and get tested and have a negative test, you, there's a, still a possibility I won't be allowed to go to work? Is that what you're telling me? What I'm telling you, sir, is that anyone who's been to Australia in the last six weeks is going through more rigorous uh, testing regimes. Uh, we're trying to limit contacts with that uh, with within the community for people that have been in Australia in the last six weeks. Yeah, and I, can under, I can understand that. What I what what my question is not so much about the contacts, but if you get negative tested, then well, you haven't got COVID, doesn't it? Surely? Well, we we just want to confirm that it hasn't been a false negative when you've come back through the border. Oh, well, Yeah, that's fine, well, sir. And, and, but if I, if I did that and it's negative, then where do we go from there? Well, well, we'll cross that bridge when it happens, sir. So they haven't got an answer for that, basically, is what no, you I, I don't have that information in front of me. Okay, can you get it and get it back to me? I'll get someone to I'll get someone to contact you uh, oh, no, prior to your second test. I've been in Australia at the same time as I have, and, um, you know, I don't want to be treated like a criminal because I went to Australia. 
Okay. No, absolutely not, sir. No, absolutely not. It's uh, was your reason for travel for holiday or family reasons or what was the reasons for travel? Well, yeah, yeah, family reasons, and also okay. I was over there looking for work. So, yeah, um, no worries at all, sir. No worries at all. Work so I can go and get away from these lockdowns. <laughs> <laughs> That's great to hear a sense of humour, sir. Uh, yeah. Look, I'm, I, I, look. Someone will be in touch with you to answer your questions and to coordinate the, the next test. Uh, that will happen prior to Tuesday. Okay then. Thank you very much, sir. Right. Alrighty. Every time, Mr. Weaver, just ah, oh, so good. Thank you.